the hardship of the journey started in Durban because I found myself with a choice of starting completely from nothing or um, taking a shortcut of being a criminal. I have an album coming out called Seven. Seven years ago I had a kind of personal awakening and I made a personal choice which became very crucial in my life where I decided I will do music, whether I make it or not, this is what makes me happy. And I left Goma, my hometown, and traveled throughout Africa and ended up in Durban. Never let me go. Never let, never I counted a lot of difficulties coming from Congo, walking, hitchhiking, train, and all crossing rivers, whatever. And I started for complete from nothing and became a car guard worked around as a gardener. Most of the time, people don't understand when you do those kind of jobs. There's a lot of rejection. People see you and judge you just how they see you. They don't understand the man behind. Throughout my album, you'll hear songs about my journey, songs about my, my, my late parents. It's actually dedicated to both of them. It's like a soundtrack to my life. Never let me go. Never let me go. Never let, never let. Oh, yes, memory of music. It's gonna be me and my friends as we're jamming on, on the dusty street of my hometown, Goma, in DRC. Out of 10, we used to just make little guitars. I really enjoyed listening to pop English music and I didn't understand anything about it. I just was attracted to the melodies and the production and I kept telling my friend, when I grow up, I really want to do English music. As an artist, I can't access more people singing in English. See the moon and the stars the shine. I think one of my favorite uh, discoveries is Coldplay. I really love the music, man. They've influenced my songwriting a lot. And the stars the shine. In the earth, the airwaves is totally 100% Kwasa Kwasa, which is good for the local music scene, but obviously does not give a chance for someone like me. Kwasa Kwasa, literally in French, means what is this, what is this? It's a dance, it's a rhythm. The Congo is very ambient rhythm with very eclectic guitars. That was some quasi quasi, man. And the drum goes like, I think. Maybe next year, Matthew and I, Matthew from Britain, we want to take a trip to Kinshasa, which is kept so where Kwasa Kwasa come from. And I think uh, he's enjoying the rhythm, he's enjoying it, introduced to the music, and he's loving it. I had so, so much love and support from uh, South African people. I mean, I work with most of the best South African artists from writing Zahara, working with AKA. For me, it's such an honor, you know? I mean, the talent in this country, man, it's incredible. My vision has always been to make music from here for the world. Every style of music that comes from Africa has always been boxed in this, you know, it comes from Africa. And I think that will only change if us as African artists um, do things differently.